I'm going to sit again at the edge of the chair. I'm going to take the feet out and I want you to have your heels just below the back of the knee. And we're just going to do some heel raises here. So spread the toes, keep the ball of the foot on the floor and we're going to lift the heels and then control them down. So if you sat at your desk, you can do this. It's going to get movement through the bottom of the foot. It's going to stretch behind the back of the toes, the front of your ankles and get that movement in the ankle. Now, what you need to be mindful of here is that when you lift those heels, you stay upright in that pelvis because this can sometimes happen. You lift the heels and it tips you back. We're working all those muscles in the torso to stay upright as we lift those heels. Now we're going to lift the heels and we're going to take the heels out slightly, but keep the big toe and the ball of your foot on the floor and then bring it down, landing on the center of your heel, pressing out. So we're stretching the outer edge of the ankle. So often when we sit at the desk, there's no weight through the feet. We sometimes sit like this, like this. The feet and the ankles become inactive. Now we're going to bring the heels in, but keep the knees out. So you can place your hands on the inside of the knee if you want to. So we're getting rotation in the foot. So if you've got any injuries, knee injuries, hip injuries, really think you still want to keep that mobility and keep that movement. You can do this sitting without any weight bearing so that you don't lose the mobility. If you're inactive because of an injury, you might lose a little bit of strength and tone, but you don't have to lose mobility and then heels straight up again. Do a couple more. And then bring it down. Just 